Hi, this is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA. This video will be posted on January the 31st, 2017, but right now it's, two, it's January the 30th in the p.m., but it's 70, 78 degrees and the humidity is about 15% in Central Texas, USA, where I am, and it is perfectly clear. Load night is supposed to be about 40, and then tomorrow we're back into the 70s and the 50s. Wonderful. And that's why I live here. If my face looks a little oily, it's because it's because I just got out of the shower and I always put I oil my skin with mineral oil. Why? Because it's natural. That's all. Doesn't have any ingredients. Just mineral oil. And uh, so, having said that, what am I going to talk about? Well, we know about nutrition and eating healthy. How important it is, but. For those of us that are getting older, not me, of course, everyone else. For all of those other people that are getting older, there's a lot of things that change, okay? And I read about all these things, and of course, there's a lot of scams with uh, vitamin supplements, okay? And a lot of people get taken in with a lot of them, okay? But, I, you know, that's their business if they want to buy a jillion kinds of vitamins to supplement their diet. That is their choice, not mine. But anyway, I, if you go to uh, mayoclinic.com, M-A-Y-O, mayoclinic.com, and uh, look at a, uh, just key in nutrition and healthy eating, or, you know, just vitamin supplements, it'll come up with this particular article. And uh, But anyway, what it talks about is, uh, it says supplements aren't intended, you got me, vitamin suppl supplements are not intended to be a fu fu fud, fud, <laughs> cut, are not intended to be a food sub substitute because they can't replicate all the nut nutrients and the benefits of whole foods such as fruits and vegetables. With regular foods, or whole foods, you get greater nutrition, essential fiber, which is very important, and protective substances. Uh, and and I, I, it's substances that slow down oxidation, da 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 da, that leads to cell damage. But who needs supplements? Me. But not a lot. If you're older, over if you're older than fifty, I guess that works. If you're over fifty, uh, you should eat foods fortified with vitamin B12. Okay. Uh, after when you go past sixty-five, then you need to take in some vitamin D. Probably, and possibly, possibly calcium. If you if you're diet consists of a lot of diet, I mean, dairy foods, then you probably don't need to take a supplement. But uh, I'm going to start taking, as soon as I get to the store, because I'm 71 years old, a mere child, and I full-time RV and I go camping in a Prius. And if you're interested in either one of those, check out my playlist on my homepage. I got that in, barely. But anyway, so I'm going to find out what the recommended daily allowance was for. You don't want to take, a lot of people take too much vitamin C and too much vitamin D and too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. And what happens? You just TT it out because your body doesn't know what to do with it. So you're just spending a lot of money on nothing. But that's just what I've read, what you've read. You know, people see what they want to see and they hear what they want to hear. But anyway, for me, age 71, I need about 800 I use whatever that is of vitamin D. Uh, so I'll look for some that are like 500. That's all I'll take. And then B12, uh, B12, what does it say? Uh, about 25 milligrams of B12 be enough for me because I do eat some things that contain B12, not a lot, but some. And then for me, age, yeah, 25 to 100 on B12. And then for calcium, uh, where is it? Yeah, calcium about 500 milligrams, even though they recommend more. Uh, or some of them do, some of them don't. 
but those are the three supplements I am going to start taking. Why? Well, you know, you, again, you see what you want to see and you hear what you want to hear. You know, I mean, I, I eat fruits, nuts, vegetables. I don't eat much meat. You know, that's where a lot of B vitamins come from. And of course, you know, dairy. Uh, I get some dairy because I, I have some cheese every now and then, but not often. And right now I got a ladybug. You see a ladybug? Right there. See that bug? That's what you call a ladybug. But I was told that there's another bug that looks just like a ladybug. And see how convenient it is to live in an RV? I just pull the screen back and chunk the bug out. So there's some real advantages to this poverty, okay? And uh, so anyway, where was I? Oh, back to bugs. I mean, vitamins. <laughs> just thought I'd throw that in there. So, I mean, I eat pretty healthy. Try to, but, um, you know, again, I don't eat a lot of red meat, practically zero. Uh, every now and then I'll have a club sandwich, which has bacon on it, which is okay. It's loaded with carbs and all kind of crap. But, uh, so I just want to, I just want to be sure my body's getting all the tools it needs to keep me healthy. Why? Because I want to go camping in my Prius for a long time. And then if I get tired of that, I want to go camping in a class B, R, or V, okay? So that's why I'm doing this. Why am I doing this video? Because I wanted to share this great information with my subscribers who will probably never watch this because the whole thing hinges on the, on the title or the description because they look at the description and go, what the hell is that? You know, but uh, what will I call this? I will call it vitamin supplements do you need them or don't or not and uh you know in some cases yeah you probably do but you know i think a lot of it has to do with just age you know when you're younger there's a lot of things you don't need but when you get older you start lo losing bone mass and you know you don't get enough calcium maybe and a lot b12 d and all that stuff uh, as far as vitamin c i think i get plenty of that because of the veggies and fruits that I eat, I think I'm okay with vitamin C. But, you know, if you're over 50, check it out. You know, and again, it says if you don't eat well, okay, or, you know, if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, uh, that's something you need, you know, they, they need to take uh, dietary or supplements. Uh, anyway, but anyway, I just thought I'd mention all that good stuff. And so that was the reason I did that. I saw a comment by somebody that was taking vitamins and somebody responded with something about vitamin or calcium or something. And I thought, well, hell, I, I better, I better learn something about that. And because of that comment, which, you know, I mean, I might help y'all doing some of these videos. You might get some tips, but believe me, you guys are giving me a lot of help by giving me comments because I am not worldly and i'm not interacting with hundreds of people every day you know to get opinions and comments other than you guys so and also all you guys that do the fan funding and support this channel believe me if it wasn't for that i would not have ordered that domatic cooler but i got some fan funding in january and i'm gonna spend it on my camping stuff every penny of it and then some probably but anyway guys that's enough on dietary supplements like vitamins so having said all that this will be up tomorrow the 31st i hope so having said i keep saying having said that no having said that having said that having said that having said that or be that as it may i do that a lot too but anyway that's just the way i am what can i say thumbs up carpe diem adios bye bye buy usa made when you can drink plenty of water take deep breaths because it does relieve stress. Stress. I got a list. It relieves stress. Okay. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth several times a day. It is refreshing. I have to tell you, if the air you're breathing is fresh like it is here. But anyway, so you know, take, you know, drink plenty of water. You know, breathe through your nose. Stretch. Stretch. I did one on stretching, so you know what I'm doing at least twice a day. 
or whenever I get there, there's no rules with me, man. When If I feel like I need to stretch and I'm walking somewhere, boy, I get into it. I don't give a shit if I'm in the grocery store, you know? And that's the way that is. So having said all that, guys, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy USA made when you can. And you know the rest of this story. Why do I want to keep my health? So I can go camping. So I can go see stuff. I want to go see the giant sequoia trees. I haven't seen those. I've seen them on videos, but I haven't put my hand on one. And I want to go see the airplane boneyard near Tucson, Arizona. they got a science museum and stuff there, but they've also got an aircraft boneyard. Thousands of aircraft. So I'll go nosing around there. But anyway, enjoy. Adios. Bye-bye.